Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you how to texture a 3D car in a real engine using Automotive Materials Pack. This is the final animation of what we are going to achieve today. I'm gonna teach you how to texture the 3D car, how to add the cinematic lightning, as well how to create a camera animation. So stay all the way until the end to find out. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this Ford Mustang GT500 and I would like to give credit to the creator for giving us this 3d model for free on sketchfab here we have an empty scene in a real engine and we want to bring the model inside we can go multiple ways either you go import from here either you're gonna drag and drop the 3d model i'm gonna drag and drop the model import options is gonna appear i'm gonna click combine meshes click import here we're gonna see the static meshes imported alongside with the materials needed for this project. I'm gonna just drag and drop the model on the scene. Be aware sometimes when you wanna import 3D assets from Sketchfab or other 3D platforms, normals might be inverted and might have a different weird look. So I'll leave a video in the description if you're experiencing that situation. Next step is to bring the automotive material pack into our project for that we have to go on the epic games and here on the library we can see the automotive materials if you don't see it here you have to go on the tab start exploring here in the search bar we're gonna type automotive we can see it right here all you have to do is to click on it and then download and it's gonna show up here into your library once you have it in the library you can click on add to project show all projects and you're gonna add it to your project you're gonna click on the latest version mine is 5.4 so i'm gonna click 5.1 and then add it to your project. It's gonna take a little bit and now we should be able to see it in our project. Once we download the automotive pack, we can browse it to see what kind of materials and textures we have available for us to use. So if you go into automotive materials, materials exterior, you can see different car paint materials, uh, decals, glass lights, as well we have interior materials for leather, glass, a messy metal, plastic, rubber and many more. So when you click on the car, we can see on the right hand side on the details palette that we have different elements. All these needs to be populated with different materials. So for example, I want to go to the automotive pack materials exteriors and car paint and all you have to do to assign this texture here either you can drag it or you can click this arrow and now you can see the body is being textured for the second element in my video i chose a black car paint and as well you drag it here or you just click the arrow and you can see now the car looks so much better for the leather we're gonna be going a little bit later for the rear light we're gonna be using a different material so you have to go to materials exterior and here lights and we're gonna choose the red lamp material bomb if you don't know which texturing is going where all you have to do is just click on the texture and just assign it and then you'll be like okay this is right here so i'm gonna choose a different one or the second options to find out what is what you click on here and here you have all the elements as in the previous tab and you can isolate them and you can clearly see which one are which. Now you have a better understanding what materials are going where. So this is very useful. For the tint and glass, I'm gonna be going with materials exterior and I'm gonna go for glass and I'm gonna go the tinted glass. Right, now we can see inside. This one is for the front lights. 
So I'm gonna go materials, exterior, lights. I'm gonna assign it. See, it looks pretty cool. Let's assign some materials to the tires and brakes. So you have to go to materials, rubber, and we're gonna be using this sidewall tire. We're gonna assign it. You can see it's gonna show up here. For the brakes, I'm gonna be using a red material. So car paint, I'm gonna go to red. And uh, we're gonna go, let's go inside. So I'm gonna just slow down my camera speed. So what we can do is to go in the material pack interiors and here we can choose the leather. I'm gonna go with gray and I'm gonna just click on assign and we can see it has been assigned already. And then I'm gonna go to the plate seat. I'm gonna assign the same to the seat. I'm gonna choose the black for the roll. Element 10 is nothing, it's basically the shadow underneath the car because I found it here. So if I go on 10, you see it's just the shadow, so we don't have to worry about it. For the mirror, we have to go to materials, exterior, and metal, and we can see the mirror. We're gonna assign it. For the brakes, we're gonna use a uh, silver material and I'm gonna go to plastic metal and I'm gonna use a silver. I think is the, is this one? Yes. And now that a 3D card has been textured, I'm gonna show you how to do like a cinematic lighting. It's gonna be very quick. So what I done, I delete all the lights. Literally, I deleted everything that was related to our lights. I'm gonna, I went to a lit and here what I've done is I did look for a light. So I picked the rect light. I went to 90 degrees. I went all the way up, move it above the car. This one parked in the middle. And here I did source width and source height. I expanded to 250 as well here to 150. And if I go on the lit mode, you can see that we have some nice, cool, reflections and everything looks so much better than it was before right so here you have you can do multiple things like i'm gonna show you just very quick uh, you can duplicate this and then move this one just a little bit in the back as well duplicate it again move it in the front duplicate one here because this left side is being a little bit dark and i'm gonna drag this all the way here and you can see our car looks amazing. I'm very happy how the lightning looks. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for now as it is. It could be improved, but it's gonna work for now. So I'm gonna show you how to do a quick camera animation. So all you have to do is to go on the uh, this little icon, add level sequence. We're gonna create a folder called obviously sequence. When I click save and here we can import a 3D camera and I'm gonna type camera and we gotta go for Cine Camera Actor. Here I'm gonna just go outside a bit with the camera. I'm gonna on a keyframe on the transform just for the camera not to jump off in a different location. And I'm gonna show you a quick trick with uh, using a cube. So if you type Q and you click the cube here and um, I want this cube to be my point of interest for the camera. So I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. I want to use the point of interest for my headlamps. So I'm gonna go here. Now I'm gonna drag the Cine Camera Actor underneath the cube. And right now, 
the cine camera actor is linked to the cube so if i move the cube the camera is gonna move as well so we're gonna bring this cube in our sequencer we're gonna click on keyframe transform here we're gonna go back to our camera we're gonna push a little bit like here for example and we're gonna click on the transform just to keyframe that we're gonna go a hundred frames and i want to rotate this cube just slightly bit i'm gonna go here 20. it's gonna create automatic keyframe and if we see right now it's gonna move with that um, point of interest in the center I don't like how the keyframes are starting so I'm gonna go click linear and I'm gonna do the same here linear and now the animation is very smooth at all time and when you're gonna render this cube is gonna be visible so all you have to do is click on it type here visible and visible you're gonna uncheck this Obviously, we need to and fix the focus. So we're gonna do. We're gonna make a keyframe here, and then we're gonna make another keyframe. We're gonna adjust the focus. As you can see, we have a nice animation. We have the nice texture, and it looks cool. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to bring more educational content on my YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.